Hi, everybody. Um, hello, beautiful people. I am really glad you are here watching this video today. Um, I actually have a lot of stuff to talk about, so I actually wrote down some notes, which I usually don't do. Um, and yes, I'm filming a couple of things back to back here because I was without my iPhone for a couple of days because I had used up all the storage in it. Um, so, uh, so I just got a new phone. So I've got to get caught up here and um, I have something that I want to share with you that um, I think is important to, um, to think about before we really start manifesting whatever it is we want. And those are the three things to get right before you begin manifesting. So like I said, I took some notes, so bear with me. I'm sorry about that, but it was too much for me to remember. So the first thing that you've got to get right is you've got to get right within. I've said it before. You've heard it said before. There's even a song. How are you going to win if you're not right within? Okay, so what do I mean by not being right within? Well, if you are, okay, there's, there's four, four areas in life that people are typically trying to manifest something in. Um, it could be health. Um, so for me, that's one of the areas um, because I'm trying to manifest some weight loss this year. So there's health, there's wealth or abundance or money, um, relationships, uh, whether that be um, a spouse, a boyfriend, a specific person, a love interest, a partnership, friendship, what have you, relationships, and um, and then there's spirituality uh, or self-expression, which I kind of put together with spirituality. So there's these four areas, and if you're trying to manifest something like I am, let's say in the health area, and you are not in a stable place, if you're not right within, if you are feeling anxious, if you are feeling, um, if you have a lot of negative thoughts and um, emotions and beliefs surrounding whatever it is you're trying to manifest, um, you've got to get those right before you really can get into your practice of, of actually manifesting. And uh, I'll give you an example. So let's say I, I have the belief that, um, you know, I, I just can't keep the weight off. Um, so if I have that belief, you know, is that helping me or hindering me in, in the process of, of manifesting weight loss? Well, it's definitely hindering me. We call it a block or, or resistance because as I'm manifesting, it's pushing back against what I am trying to do. Um, so if you're trying to manifest in one of these areas and you're out of balance, you're out of alignment, you have anxiety or negative, you know, emotions or um, negative thoughts about it. Take a step back, table it, um, you know, put it on a shelf and work in one of the other areas of your life that you are stable in um, for a while until things cool down in this other area. Um, and you could still certainly be working on um, being in balance and alignment, but work on that separate from the manifestation process because you're just going to get frustrated because what we, you know, what we resist, what is the saying? What we resist persists, right? So if I believe I can't keep weight off, that's going to keep showing up in my life because that's the vibration that I'm putting out, right? So I need to get myself in tune um, and I need to be in balance and uh, I need to change my beliefs surrounding that before I can successfully you know, manifest that. I, I hope that makes sense. So the first thing to get right is to get right within, okay? Um, so, sorry, notes. Um, so the second thing is to get your goals right. So, um, what is it that you are trying to manifest exactly? You know, you need to know where there is no vision, my people uh, are lost, right? Um, you have to have vision. You have to be able to know exactly what it is you want 
and be able to feel and, and visualize and feel into that thing. So for example, I can visualize myself at my ideal weight. I can visualize the, the kind of clothes I'm wearing, the kind of uh, reactions I get from other people, um, how I walk with more confidence and when I walk into a room, I'm putting out that energy vibrationally. I'm not trying to hide myself, um, but I can walk in confidence. All right. Um, so, you know, it's not so much about, um, it's not so much about it's not so much about be, uh, trying to be a different person right? Because we hear about when you're manifesting to, you know, think about what, what is it that that person does in their daily life that weighs their ideal weight, right? And, and we try to emulate that. And that's a good practice in manifestation. But I really want to think about it more of instead of trying to transform into somebody else, more about becoming more of myself. Okay, so know what it is that you want, be able to visualize it, be able to feel what it feels like, because remember, everything that we're trying to manifest, we're, we're trying to manifest because of the way we think we will feel when we have it. And know that right now you already have access to those feelings. So when you're visualizing, bring those feelings up. How does it feel to walk confidently into a room and have heads turn? How does it feel to see the numbers on the scale that I want to see, you know? So, um, so you've got to know exactly what it is to the point where you can really imagine it and feel into it. Um, so again, if you have a lot of negative beliefs, um, and, and emotions and anxiety around what you're trying to manifest, go back to step number one, get right within and then move on to step number two, um, which is to know what you want, okay? So um, the third thing is to get right before you start manifesting is your beliefs, okay? So um, if it's true that, you know, thoughts and emotions create our reality, um, if you have trouble believing that you can achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve, um, again, you're creating that resistance and, and the thing that you don't want is going to persist. Okay. So we have to change our beliefs. If we have, um, beliefs that are not in, um, in alignment. So, um, I believe that with God, anything is possible. And, and my tradition is to call it God, but you, you know, you may call it source. Sometimes I call it the universe, whatever. It's that creative life force that's inside all of us that we have access to. This life force that brought all of this world into being. If we can tap into that, whether it's through our higher self, whether you look at it as through prayer, um, you know, however it is, it doesn't really matter how you look at it um, because it's, it's all the same thing. But if you believe that with that power, being able to tap into that power, that anything is possible, you can achieve great things. But without that belief, it's very difficult. All right. Especially when circumstances seem insurmountable right? When you're looking at the scale and it says a number you don't want to see and you know it's so many digits down, you know, it's so much time and energy and hard work or, you know, whatever the circumstances are. Maybe you're trying to manifest a, a relationship or a specific person, you know, and they are far away from you. <laughs> um, circumstances are not ideal. Let me tell you, circumstances don't matter. They just don't matter. Um, so take your limiting belief, you know, I, I can't lose weight. 
change it into, or I can't keep weight off, change it into an empowering belief. Um, it's easy for me to maintain a healthy weight. And then look for a confirming belief to back this up. I did a video about this. Um, but look for a confirming belief that backs up that empowering belief. This is how we begin to shift our beliefs. All right. So, um, so, um, okay, well, uh, I, I have lost some weight in the last couple months and, and I have kept it off so far. I'm still going in the right direction. All right. So I have this little thing. It doesn't have to be a big thing. It could be five pounds. Okay. Right now it's about 30 pounds for me. Um, so I, I have something that I could back up that empowering belief with, and that's helping to change any beliefs that I might've had about how hard it is, um, to keep weight off. Okay. So, um, know that you, you can't change your circumstances right now and your circumstances don't matter, but you can't change things. You have to live in reality, right? You have to accept what is, um, you can't even change the present because it, it is what it is. I, I can't step on the scale and see a different number. It's not going to happen, but I can choose the next moment. I can choose how I feel vibrationally. I can choose the um, lifestyle that I want to live as a healthy person. I can choose how to feel. I can choose to already have those feelings of confidence um, and joy and, and happiness. And just like my dog, wake up every day and be happy um, that they're alive. You know, I have those, we all have those feelings already inside of us. Um, we don't have to look to anything external to have those feelings. Um, so circumstances don't worry. Once you then have gotten right within, and once you are um, clear on what it is that you want to show up in the world, how it is that you can become more of who you really, really are, right? And then you have beliefs to back that up. That's when you can start your man real manifestation and, and bring yourself vibrationally right into that space, into that frequency that you need to be in so that, um, so that you vibrate with that same thing. You, the universe can't help but respond. Okay. It's, it's quantum physics. It's stuff that much smarter people than me understand that I don't, but it's, but it's real. It's not magic and it's not toxic positivity or any of those things. It's, it's true. Um, so, so don't worry about how it's going to show up or when it's going to show up. This thing you want to manifest. If you're all in your feelings about when, when, when that's kind of anxiety, that's not being right within. Okay if you are too attached to the outcome instead of just being knowing and allowing i i want to to exist in a space of peace and calm not in not in anxiety about where and when and how is this thing going to happen i can't see it this is not my reality right now these circumstances are crazy I just don't see it, right? I don't want to live in that space. I want to live in a space of peace and calm and joy and happiness. Knowing what I want to create in my life, feeling into it, being attuned to it, and the universe can't help but respond. Okay, so to wrap this up, I, again, just the three things that you want to get right before you start your manifestation practice. So you want to get right within. You want to uh, get your goals right you want to know what it is that you're achieving and you want to get your beliefs in order so i hope that was helpful for you uh this video was a little bit longer than i expected it to be thanks for bearing with my notes and i'll see you next time